One thing I'd like to talk about history. Someone else here said that they thought they should leave that in the past, but I think that's really vital to this whole discussion is the history of the Zionist movement. And I think that you should know this or you're going to start swimming, that the Zionist movement was not founded by people who were against sitting down over coffee and cake with the worst anti-Semites in the world. The Zionist movement, with, including Herzl, was founded by people who were willing to trade the thousands of lives of Jews for the, so that they could be the ruling class of a new state in Palestine. The Zionism not only robbed land from Palestine, but it, it backed off from the fight against anti-Semitism in Europe. Herzl met with czars in Russia that were instigating pogroms against the Jewish population. They had connections with Mussolini and even indirect connections with Nazi Germany. This is all written about by Jewish authors. I urge all people to read a book called Zionism in the Age of Dictatorship by an American Jew, Lenny Brenner. That's it? My friend, I'd sit down with the devil to save my people. And it's people like Lenny Brenner, who I know well, too well, who is the epitome of that self-hating Jew. Thank God there was, there, were, there was Zionists who created a Jewish state to which are pouring in now a million Soviet Jews if they didn't have Israel, they have to stay inside the Soviet Union and enjoy the blessings of the anti-Semites there. It doesn't bother me when Arabs cry out against Israel, because I understand them. They believe it's Palestine. I would suspect that you're Jewish. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm Irish. Okay, fine, good enough, good enough. <laughs> but the fact is that many, many, that Lenny, that Lenny Brenner is Jewish. You haven't ever found one Arab in the world who would ever write a book against Arab Zionism as Lenny Brenner wrote against Jewish Zionism. That's the difference between a normal people and a people that is riddled with sick people like Lenny Brenner. Yes, next. <laughs>